Hello, and welcome to an e-demo looking at the Victor Web LT interface. What we're looking at here is the Victor Web LT homepage, and this is what you're going to see when you sign in. The first thing that will jump out is this section on the right hand side that's called Doc Views. What it does is allows quick navigation to any pre-configured Doc Views we have just with a single click. So you can see, if I choose this first one here, the Doc View launches. What we can also do is jump back to the home page by selecting the Victor Web LT button in the top left. It's always present on the interface and it'll always take you back to the home page. Okay, so next to that button then, there are four other menu buttons. The first one is called Monitor. What it does is allows us to look at the video surveillance view, events and also open up the diagnostics interface. The next menu along is called Search and it allows us to open up the search interface from where we conduct a time and date search or an advanced search on recorded video. The third menu along is called Setup and it allows us to configure Victor Web LT. So from here we can add other 4.6 Video Edge recorders for monitoring. We can also create sites and in addition we can also manage all of our configured fixed views and dock views as well as managing our events. The final menu then along the top bar here is called Admin and it allows us to view current Video Edge users and roles and we can also view and download Victor Web LT logs, view our clip archive and set some other preferences such as bandwidth configuration. Okay, so moving across the top of the screen over to the right hand side then, this shows us which user is currently signed in, which in this case is admin, and the little arrow next to it will allow that user to log out. So we can click that and then we can choose the log out button. The info button, which is next along there, it shows us the current version that we're running. And the final button in the top right is called full screen and it opens up Victor Web LT in full screen mode. Okay, so if we exit out of that and if we move down the page, you'll see we have six tiles here. What that does is allows us quick access to some things. So the first one opens up the last view that we were looking at, which in this case is a video surveillance pane. Again, I'm going to choose the Victor Web LT button to go back to the home page. The next button along opens up the last dock view we happen to be looking at. And the other ones there give us access to events monitor, sites, fixed views and diagnostics as well. Just a way of quickly navigating to those items in Victor Web LT. Okay, so moving down to the bottom of the screen, you'll see in the bottom left, we have a pull-out menu which is called Dock Views. If I select the yellow bit, it pulls out there. This is available on all screens in Victor Web LT. What it does is allows us to create new Dock Views and also access already configured ones quickly. So you can see that we have the three there. Okay, if I just close that over, the final aspect of the Victor Web LT interface, which is also always visible, is the timeline. This timeline allows us to control video that's playing at the moment. We can also see activated events from there, and they will be displayed on the timeline in the form of an event marker, which is color-coded by the event priority.